everyone, welcome to Sasha Soul Studio. I had a meeting at Whole Foods. So I'm walking around here, looking at all kinds of food. And I'm realizing that I will never, ever probably be ready to fully abandon cooked food. I feel like I miss it so much, still, like I want it so much. Um, you know, I love, I enjoy eating raw food so much as well, but it's like one bowl. Um, same time, I do want to make the switch, and they say all it takes is eight to twelve months for it to hit and never have this desire again. As long as you stay 100% raw for 8 to 12 months, and I've heard and read it from many different sources, that this switch is gonna flip. And I can't wait for that to happen. I constantly have to remind myself of my purpose. It's not easy with all these things coming at you all the time and all the groceries, all the restaurants, your family, you, you have to cook. I still have to cook for my family every day. And you know, like short term is always fine as long as you know like that you can come back to cook food. But at the same time, I really do want to make the switch for good. And I, I don't know if I'm gonna fall on my face <laughs> again, by the way, and not make it this year, or I'm gonna make it to the final line, just like I intended, and be successful in it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm here just honest and open sharing my mixed feelings I know exactly what I want I know exactly what I want it's just I also know it's so tempting and it's so hard it's not an easy task I love going out I love ordering food I love trying all kinds of different stuff um, like I see myself traveling and trying different um, traditional dishes of different countries um, I like to share meals with my, my family <laughs> it's it I, it that's what I was doing all my life you know <laughs> and it's so um, engraved really really um, deep it's really deep and I can't deny it, that I do love it so much I love cooked food. like I look at all these vegan options and I, I don't even care for anything non-vegan you know oh, maybe pizza but if I could afford it I could eat vegan pizza so many vegan options it's crazy and like wholesome vegan, not the fake stuff, fake meats and all of this, all this craziness. Just real cooked vegetables, brown rice, <laughs> pasta, you know, again, pizza, um, all this kind of, and yeah, pizza is not whole. <laughs> it's still processed, but I mean, you know, bread is just the most difficult thing to get over I guess really it's even tougher than than sugar I think um, but again just sharing my thoughts here and do not follow me or don't follow anybody blindly just do your thing do you always figure yourself out Follow your heart, your God. Uh, make sure you clean it so you can follow it. <laughs> I try to keep it clean, you know, but 
you know, this kind of thoughts I have. And I really believe that as long as you stick with it for a year, it's gonna be so easy breezy. But it's not an easy task. Again, with everything coming at you all the time. All grocery stores, all restaurants, all commercials, everything, everything, everything. Um, Get-togethers, cooking for family. I mean, come on. It's one thing to move to tropics with like-minded people and support each other. Not just support each other, but, you know, be on the same wave all the time. But when things get thrown at you like that, when you just see them, that's your everyday life. <laughs> it's, it's a tough task and I need to also remember it to be not tough on other people who are not ready to make the switch. So, yeah, there it is. Again, I don't know. That's why I said don't follow anybody. I mean, people have been raw for years, for de decades. Um, and then they go back. Not just to vegan, but to eating everything, you know? Including meat, all kind of meat. So, even those people, and, and they, they didn't see that coming. So how can we be sure that we're gonna stick with it forever? <laughs> that might be our intention for now, but how it's gonna work out? And if you're trying to resist the temptations, they're gonna come bite you. Anyways. So you have to just constantly work on your mind and change your mindset and surround yourself with the right people. Like I have this intention to eat raw for a year and I've been doing it for over a month now with some with, with one bad week. But um, I, I forget. I catch myself forgetting that I'm doing it, <laughs> you know, sort of, kind of, I mean, it, it is there, I know, I, I don't mess up, I don't go take a bite of something I'm not supposed to, I'm not not supposed to, I don't even really want to want to, but it's just so easy to forget and get caught up, caught up again in the same mess. Because once you unmindfully take one bite, ooh, those cravings are gonna come back and it's gonna be harder and harder to resist and to stay on top of it. And to follow your purpose and your intention. So, that's all. Okay, well, hopefully, um, with support of my fruit up family and constantly doing challenges and stuff I'll get through it because temptations are real beautiful squash beautiful asparagus I cooked yesterday for my kids Ooh, simple saute asparagus broccoli but once you get this stuff, with some seasoning especially, it opens up more cravings. Promise. But if you stick with raw for a year, you're gonna be in a different dimension. In a different reality. On completely different frequency. Because right now it's like you're on the radio and you're trying to catch this wave. And, like, and you can hear the song, but um, it's still messing up but if you persistent long enough you're gonna catch it and it's gonna become clear and you're not gonna hear no more interference from other stations 
that's all okay thank you guys for coming and i will see you next time bye